Tilon Tobin's angel, a tough little guy, rave review, lady reporter, son on the beach is outside, there's eight of them up on the gate in the third. Top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. The rough and pacing rave review leaving out a tough little guy pocket full of promise along the rail. Then into the turn between horses goes Roxy Lund. Racing f off stride. Lady reporters on the run. Now moving into fifth is Tobin's Angel. Play the board goes six. Into seven, Sun on the Beach. And off stride. That is Lady Reporter. So on the back stretch and a top little guy, the heavy post time favorite made the lead in line to Jill Barrio. Second is pocket full of promise. Brave review dropped in now third. Gapping out fourth is Roxy Lund. Then in fifth it's Tobin's Angel. Play the board is six. Son on the beat seventh. Then the trailer. That's Lady Reporter, 29 and 01 fifth, the initial quarter. Off the turn they come, led by a top little guy. Pocket full of promise, we'll get one of those two whole rides. Racing third into the outside goes Ray Review. Roxy Lund closed up and moved out fourth. Fifth is Tobin's Angel, Sun on the Beach now six. Play the board is seventh in the backfield, the trailer. Lady Reporter, the opening half mile in a minute. And a one-fifth. They move around the paddock turn. We are under an inquiry. There is a judge's inquiry underway in the third by the 5-8 pole led by a tough little guy. Rave review on the outside second. Pocket full of promise. In the pocket third. Roxy Lund back on the cones fourth. Tobin's Angel is fifth. Sun on the beach sixth. Play the board is seventh. Then the trailer. Lady reporter. Three quarters up in 130 and two. And a tough little guy is opened up clear by two. Shade more than an eighth to go. Pocket full of promises second. Rave review in third. Fourth is Roxy Lund. They're in deep stretch now. And here is a tough little guy to get it all for Mario. Pocket full of promises second. Rave review will finish third. Time for the mile. Two minutes. One fifth. Under an inquiry. Judge's inquiry involves the conduct of race number three going into the first turn after the start. Okay, we're under an inquiry here, but uh, we'll talk the folks through the replay here for race number three. He was oh so close. We had mentioned, uh, you had mentioned uh, in your tee up here, seven straight on the board finishes. It was green light go here today, right down the road. Yeah, definitely overdue for this guy. He got to the front. He's great gate speed, and he got to the front here with Barrio and the bike, and they controlled things 29 and one, half in a minute, one fifth. Rave review and McPherson came first up here today. They challenged down the back stretch, but a tough little guy put. Rave review away around the last turn, 130 and two. Time of the mile, two minutes, one fifth. A nice closing quarter of 29 and four. And this guy finally gets the job done. We'll see him back in the Red Shores winner's circle with none other than the Maritime Magic Man getting him there. It is a 5 2 6 here in race number three, but we are under an inquiry. And if you're looking for your 50-50 tickets, uh, Gail's in the top of the park. Gail with the PEI Standard Brad Horse Owners Association. It's your first call for 50-50s in the top of the park. In the third race, winner's circle, number five, a tough little guy, Bay Pacing Stallion 4 by Chemistic. From the Riches Hanover Dam, Fox Valley Peep Show, owned by Hilliard Graves of Charlottetown, trained by Kenny Arsenault, Jill's Barrio in the driver's seat. The time of the mile in two minutes and one fifth. That's a maiden record on five, a tough little guy in the third. <laughs> 